Welcome to Great Chefs of the World, a culinary survey featuring premier chefs from around the globe. The start of this time comes from Lyon, France. Jean-Paul Lacombe presents a terrine of suckling pig, onion confit, and foie gras, served with potatoes and truffles. Then the main course is served in Dublin. Conrad Gallagher uses an interesting method with his lamb loin, wrapped in leek leaves. The packet is boiled first. Finally, the dessert is prepared in Bermuda. Jean-Claude Garcia cooks a small apple tart, served with a variety of fresh fruit and a jellied black rum garnish. southern part of the wine-producing Burgundy region of France properly considers itself the culinary capital of France. At one time, it led the country in Michelin three-star restaurants. Jean-Paul Lacombe's popular operation, Léon de Lyon, has earned two Michelin stars. From there, he offers a suckling pig first course. The chef begins by softening chopped onion, carrot, and celery in a little olive oil. Pieces of the suckling pig are seasoned with salt and pepper. De toute façon, comme c'est une terrine qui est cuite longuement et montée à froid, the chef says since the meat will cook for so long, a good deal of seasoning is required, and it will be seasoned again. Voilà, le moment important. The meat goes in fat side down. After it's cooked a while, the meat is turned and fresh herbs and veal stock are added. Donc on va éviter et on va gagner un petit peu de temps. On rajoute, c'est arrivé à l'instant du marché Quai Saint-Antoine à Lyon. The herbs include thyme and rosemary. Du thym, du romarin, les pointes qui sont plus parfumées. On va mouiller. Oui. Then highly reduced gelatinous veal stock is added. Some will be kept aside for the onion confit. The pork, vegetables, and stock go into a 200 degree oven for nine hours. Onions have been sliced for the confit. They too will be cooked in a relatively slow process. They go into a saute pan with a little olive oil. On utilise beaucoup l'huile d'olive aussi. Là. The chef says that the same veal stock used for the pork will be added to the confit. The onions are cooked very slowly for about an hour. When they are browned, the veal stock will be added. All the liquid must be absorbed, then it goes into a 200 degree oven for another hour. Hein? Donc, vous voyez, hein? petite coloration. Ah. À ce -là, Fresh thyme has been added, and for the purposes of this demonstration, the chef adds the veal stock. Actually, the onion should brown a good deal longer before the stock is added.
After nine hours of slow braising, the pork looks like this. When the chef removes the meat, you get an idea of how tender it is. Voyez, elle se, elle se désosse, elle est archi cuite. He's also removing layers of fat. This will be used in the final dish. The cooking liquid, which contains a tremendous amount of flavor, is strained and will also provide the gelatinous medium for the terrine. Meanwhile, the completed onion confit is shown. It will be one layer of the terrine. The pork is torn into chunks. In Memphis, this would be called pulled pork. La chair du cochon est en avec des fibres tout en longueur, on voit bien. Et on va essayer de mettre ceci. The fat from the pork is cubed. Et bien sûr, it goes in with the meat along with some fresh herbs. Avec, this is tarragon and chervil. On mélange avec les ingrédients aromatiques. Je rappelle l'estragon, le cerfeuille, etc. On va regoûter. Alors, je vais mettre un petit peu de jus. C'est un petit peu. As if this terrine needed more flavor, strips of foie gras will be used. The chef assembles the terrine, starting with a layer of meat. Alors, le cochon de tout à l'heure. On, le, on en fait une première couche. De couches superposées. Hein? Then a layer of the onion confit. Les oignons. Répartis d'une façon... Assez uniforme, le plus possible en tout cas, étendu. Il y a beaucoup d'oignons, hein, mais c'est normal. The foie gras has been pre-cooked. It goes in after some more fresh herbs are added. Après, là, le foie gras. Alors là, par contre, c'est la partie un petit peu noble. On essaye de bien mettre le foie gras qui a été poché séparément, qui a été refroidi, serré dans du papier film. Donc une fois qu'il est refroidi, voilà comment, voilà comment il se présente. Voilà. Et regardez celui-là. Voilà. On rajoute à ce moment un petit peu de sel. Since this will be served cold, it can take a good deal of seasoning. Et on recommence l'opération avec le cochon dans lequel il y a déjà la couenne. Then the layers are repeated. Normally, this would be done to the top of the tureen, but the chef stops short in this demonstration. Finally, the savory cooking liquid is ladled in. The tureen will be refrigerated for 24 hours. Si rupeux, et ça donnera le... Voilà. Pas trop. The tureen is served with alternate slices of truffle and cooked potato with onion confit on top. The vegetables and a small herb salad are dressed with a vinaigrette. This dish is actually a very sizable first course, and as true with many French preparations, would serve equally well as an entree. This is fleur de sel, the fancy and expensive salt. Dont on a parlé, et vous donnez... Alors... Et ça, le client aime bien, parce que normalement, c'est fait en salle, si vous voulez. Et il y a ce côté généreux. Vous voyez, on voit bien le foie gras, on voit bien le... 
Bon, on peut en mettre plus, mais voilà. Et c'est... The dish is served with what the chef calls old-style rustic bread. Les oignons confits, le foie gras, les herbes aromatiques, un petit peu l'estragon qui domine. Voilà un plat qui a beaucoup de succès chez les Hondurans. Thank you.